Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to Sunken Land. Uh, what this is, is an uh, open world uh, building survival game similar to Raft and uh, Stranded Deep and stuff like that. But as you can see, it's sort of a post-apocalyptic world similar to Waterworld. Now, this is actually quite interesting. I was uh, checking it out on Steam on the Early Access and it came out a few days ago and I thought I'd check it out. And uh, so far I'm actually enjoying it. It's actually quite an immersive experience. Uh, there is... Uh, there is raiders and different factions and bases, like all these different points of interest you see. Most of them are actually uh, held by a faction, let's say marauders or slayers or whatever. But anyways, yes, this is uh, open world building survival. There is different type of crafting, different type of building styles and vehicles you can make and all that stuff. Again, this is very early access. I think it's version 0.104, something like that. But it's very, very basic, let's say, for the time being. Uh, there is, as you can see, cut down trees. You can get better tools and stuff like that. Uh, there is limited inventory space, of course, like most games. But there's actually more than what meets the eye. Because you see what's up here, but you go underwater. Then you start seeing, like, relics of the past. Like, we got a section of freeway down here, which is actually quite interesting. Go over here and loot stuff. You can pick up uh, different types of scavenging. So it's got similar aspects to like seven days to die except not to, not zombies it's just basically what a world and i was wondering about it being procedurally generated but i can see it's not because i've done a little bit of a bit of a playthrough just to make sure that everything runs okay and this structure is actually familiar to me so uh, we can go down here we can grab some stuff get some scrap and all that different kind of things uh there are sharks and marlins and that different kind of things uh yeah, I've uh, run into the hammerheads already, and they're not fun. But this is it. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure of what's all in the game at the moment, but there is quite a bit. Uh, there is a map, you can see here. Uh, all these little question marks are areas I haven't explored yet. Uh, there's going to be different, like I said, different factions, so uh, we'll have to find a place to set up home. Now, as you can see, there's a percentage here, and I believe this... Uh, explains how much I've actually uh, uh, collected off the, this particular island, like how many resources uh, are crabs too, but I haven't figured out how to cook them yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up some resources and uh, we have a little bit of camp here. Go over here and grab some stuff out of here. It actually gives me strawberry seeds and, and pop. So let me gather up some resources, so I'll bring it back and we'll do a little bit of, get a little bit of base set up or something. Okay, well, due to limited limited inventory space, we must set up a bit of a, do some building right now. Uh, it's all fairly basic stuff. Apparently, there's supposed to be a way to rotate walls and stuff like that, so you can have like certain ways facing out. But apparently, it's kind of bugged at the moment. But it's early access, so it's all we can do. As you can see, there is a lot of different building things we can do. Different uh, simple grill. Oh yeah, that's why I couldn't cook the food. I was looking in lighting for some reason. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get some foundation down. It's not exactly cheap. It's supposed to be doing balancing of resources and stuff like that. Now, I kind of... Maybe we'll go off like this because I hate having that lip. Yeah, something like this. Do that. I'll do a 2x3. Th uh, I also want to get a storage chest set up. Now, what do I need for that? Go here. Now, there's also a... Uh, a research table I can build too that I guess helps me build new things. You can find blueprints out in the world where you can build different things and relics of the past, for instance. Okay, I need 12. So let me get some more wood and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have enough to make a chest. So let's go ahead and do this. It's actually fairly big for the amount that's in there. It was in here, yes. Now, uh, the, okay, I can rotate this. People are saying that you couldn't. I guess they fixed it up, fixed it in the last little hot fix that they had. So we'll get out of here, and as you can see, it's actually quite a bit of space. It's kind of hard to see, but it goes down to here. So I can get stuff in here I don't really need. Uh, this is decoration. We'll place that down. A scrap torch. Get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I think I have enough now. Make a crude axe. i got to make rope. Make over here. I need cloth. Now, cloth, I need to, need to harvest something. What's this? That's more mushrooms. I think I have to go down into the water. I believe there's a wash machine in, in one of these buildings somewhere. 
been going uh, gather scrap from the cars and stuff like that too but what do we have over here investigate shall we limited oxygen uh, you black out really quick so you can't stay too long this is cloth now this will give me some, give me some rope and a dress I think that was a dress it is oh what do you know there we go I'm not dressed tank top. Alright, I got a tank top. Now I got some clothing. Uh, I did get that, so we can go ahead and make the cloth or the rope. And then. Oh, yeah, I needed. I uh, want to make an axe. Alright. And then uh, just drag it onto the hot bar. And of course, re, re, re equip it. it. Should actually get me going a little bit better. Uh, yes, there is stamina and stuff like that. Uh, regarding the, the raiders, I did leave them turned on. There's an option you can uh, actually turn them off, but I left them on, but I have them set at uh, uh, low instances, and like the amounts are fairly low and mild, just because I'm not exactly a PvP here, but uh, I'll survive if I have to. Anyway, uh, let me get a house put together, and I'll be back when I'm done. And we hit the early access part of this video. Uh, having some issues with the roof. I don't know if it's got to do with the pillars or not. Uh, there is pillars I can place that apparently only support the upper floors. But I'm having trouble putting the ceiling on. Now this one here I actually did have going the same way as that one, but it turned on me for some reason. So I don't know what that's all about, but uh, we'll get some more sticks. Yes, that was the problem. Uh, the roof is kind of messed up right now, but we'll, we'll just have to live with it. Alright, so I do have to get a few more things going, uh, survival-wise. Uh, probably should look at getting a grill. I can eat, at least cook some food. Uh, this research table, gotta find components. I th haven't found them yet. I think, uh, you know, in my little playthrough, I was doing some exploring without the, the raiders, so I was able to go on the islands. You can find the stuff on the islands and things like that. Uh, what else would I need? All sorts of different storage ideas. Oh, that's actually interesting. Shelving just for the metal. Uh, you have to get a bonfire going. Uh, let's not put it inside, because uh, uh, getting cold is an issue. Let me just go ahead and hit C to add wood. I don't know how long it takes. We have that. Uh, is there anything else here I really need? Not at the moment there. I uh, have a torch. As you can see, different things. Uh, oh, backpack size. Hmm, might have to do that. Uh... We also do need to get some sort of bed going. I think it's going to be in here. Yeah, a silver bed, so I need three more cloth and more planks. Let's, uh, go we'll jump in the water here, see if we can find something. Oh, yes. This one over here, I know this has some stuff in it. Just swim in here. And then, wash machine. Oh, that's not a wash machine, that's a storage. The wash machine will give me cloth. Good, it gave me three. Uh, I can cut this down for scrap if I want. Another floor downstairs. Let's go get some air first. I'm sure there's different breathing apparatuses you can you can make. I can admit, for being so early, it's, it looks very nice. Of course, it does need gonna need work, but that will come in due time. And find these special crates too, and this is where you find things like components. That's actually everything I need. I believe. Okay, nothing there. Uh, I gotta go up. I gotta go up. I gotta go up. Go, let's go, let's go. As you can see, I'm running as I swim upwards, so as I can tell, it's early access. <laughs> uh, stuff will all change in due time. But they are definitely working on it. I've uh, been having some connecti connectivity issues with uh, the co-op version. Uh, yes, it is multiplayer and single player. Antibiotics. And, ooh, can I take a bed to time a water nap? I could probably scrap it. But anyways, really interesting to see what's out there. I know you can get like a jet ski and a boat and stuff like that, but it makes me wonder if there's like a, almost like a little submarine you can make. But anyways, it is getting dark. Let's get, it, get myself a bed so I can sleep the night away. And then uh, maybe we'll look at getting some transportation going. We'll maybe out the island I need some wood uh, let me get this let me get this stuff together and I'll see you in the morning
And good morning. Uh, I did wake up about half an hour earlier. In game, not in real time. Uh, I said it's not bedtime anymore, so it woke me up and I wanted to check out the sunrise. It's actually not bad. But anyways, uh, there's a couple of things I think we're going to do before we call this one here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at making a research table. I have the components to do that. I just need to get more scrap and get some more wood. Then I also want to look at getting... Probably won't be making the paddle boat because I need more components for that, but uh, at least get a wooden sailboat going and I can get this stuff relatively close by. So uh, let me cut down some trees and I'll bring you back when it's a little lighter and we'll go do some diving. Okay, so I've got every tree down. I didn't get too much more wood. I think we'll have enough to get it going off to get some more cloth and I did have some more scrap in the, the chest there. But I was just saw this as I was running around. Now, I did actually explore this. There's actually a lot of good stuff on there, but I have a feeling there's going to be raiders on there. So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, obviously, we'll have to get some more fire, get some sort of weapon or firepower or something to go before we go that route. But let's go. See what else we can find down here. That was that billboard. Basically, I need to find cloth. Now, do I have inventory space? I do. Uh, also, I've been figuring out the two bars, the two blue bars. Uh, the top blue bar is my like running stamina, and my bottom blue bar is overall stamina, and that rebuilds over time. Now, you can see we got some marlins here, or not rebuilds over time. That depletes over time, and that caps my max, my uh, upper bar, and that just replenishes with sleeping. All right, uh, I'm not gonna find anything in there. Let's see what else I can find. Telephone poles are usually a sign that's going to be, well, that, I'm, that I've noticed anyways, is that the sign that there's going to be an electrical box and you break up the electrical box and get electrical components out of it. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder what really happened. It's almost like something blew up. Now, one thing I would like to see is that this was more like an actual flooded city than... Like a meteor struck and scattered the city all over the world because good down just like hillside and stuff like that, but it could change. You never know. I checked this one out yet. No, I didn't. All right, there's some cloth right here. Oh, maybe not. Some food. I'll take that. Strawberry seeds, and I might have to get some air. A uh, couple of the points of interest I have seen, I have run across uh, an oil refinery. Uh, obviously it's going to be like a lot of uh, uh, steel and you can get gasoline and stuff like that too. I don't care about the scrap. Hmm. Getting me what I want. Oh, I should say it's not getting me what I need. Go check that one over there. Gotta watch out for the shark, so... Only seen the hammerheads, hammerheads so far, but never know what else could be around. Gonna be wood or scrap. Nothing in here. Really want that cloth. I want to make a sailboat. I think I've already been in here, have I? Yes, I did. Hmm. We might have to go explore a little bit. Go look over here. Hmm. It's a good thing I kept my food and water on me. Or pop. Get that. Well, I'm gonna look around a little bit and I'll see if I can find some more cloth. Oh, look at this. I found a dumpster. Switch. Do some dumpster diving move if I can find some cloth in here. Ooh, painting. What is that? Rubber? Cloth? Wood? Take it. That inventory is full. Of course it is. Uh, um, hmm. Leave it. Before I suffocate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, I don't know how long it takes to pass out. I haven't actually reached that point yet. I don't want to. Eat. I only got two cloth. Hmm. Gotta be somewhere around. Anyway, I'll continue that. 
Okay, well, I wasn't able to find too much more around here. It was pretty much just scrap around here. Uh, I am going to need a lot of cloth because I need to make I think, well, two rope. Two rope. Not two rope, any cloth, which is quite a bit, but I do have enough to make the research table. Let's go ahead and slap this thing down and see if it actually does anything good for me. All right, let's get out of here and let's see research table. So we make a fish net. Some types of armor. Okay, that's kind of here. The fridge. Okay, it's just more storage. We have to upgrade it. Oh wow. Now that's gonna be a little while. All right. Well, um, hmm. I like that, it even tells you when it's time to go to bed. Nice. Hmm. I almost want to go exploring, but I don't want to, you know, don't want to piss off the neighbors, right? Like even over there, like there's so many different places to explore. But maybe we'll sneak over here because this is submerged, so maybe it's not going to be too bad. Famous last words. If I do some, see something down here, I can go investigate. Let's go down and see what we can get. Is there anything worth looting here? Just more scrap. Scrap everywhere. I like the traffic lights, it's a nice touch. Alright, let's go see what else we got here. You know I mean, it's like a like an entire town exploded. Unknown ruins. Now, as you can see in the upright, it says unknown ruins. Neutral means that it's not controlled by anybody, so... It should be okay being in this area. Maybe. Over here. So many things. So many things to explore. Loot. And hopefully... Not have to run away from what's... Oh, a chest. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Uh, except for the fact I don't have infrared space. Ooh, components. Really use that. Alright. Uh, let me... Do a round recording here and I'll be right back if I don't suffocate. Alright, well we got a little bit of time, so let's maybe see if we can find something around here, maybe see if we can get what we need. Oh here we go. Speaking of. Get some cloth so we can get ourselves full inventory. Uh and guard that. Tank top. I don't want a tank top, I want wood. Or not wood, cloth. Cloth and rope. See if there's anything else around here. Now I do like how it shows on the map how much uh, you've actually scavenged from the area, so you know whether or not it's worth coming back. What do we have in here? Trash can. Rubber. Need rubber. Not yet, anyway. Alright, I need a little bit more cloth. Uh, again, we'll. Maybe we will dispose of the seeds, and that, that doesn't actually get rid of it, it just drops it. They can always pick it up later. I was expecting it to be sort of like drag and drop outside the window or something. Hmm. So hard to tell where you've been sometimes. Okay. Does anybody have any household appliances around? Looking for a little bit of cloth, nothing special. I need oxygen. <gasps> the music is a nice touch, too. Oh, there should be something over here. Hopefully nothing hostile. Uh, I chop that. And again, with uh, all diving, I'm not a diver, so I can't really relate to this, always make sure you have a clear <laughs> clear uh, path to the surface and probably oh, take that oh, don't really want the flare, but I took it anyways hmm well, let me find some more cloth and I'll bring you back save you the blind parts you know, it's just incredible like how vast some of these structures are like oh, it's in that warehouse over there, it's huge and they come over here and there's like a Another massive area to explore and hopefully not get lost and suffocate, speaking of. But I have a little bit more. I think I see another washing machine. I think we are good to go. 
Might want to check that out. I don't know if that's going to be anything or not. And what do we have in here? Uh, is it empty? I've already looted it. I think I did. Apparently not. Uh, I thought I saw an appliance over here. Anyway, uh, let me continue looting and now we'll be back. Okay, I have enough. Now, I was just about to head home and I saw that. Now, something tells me I don't want to be there. Uh, there's another one too. That's Radio Tower. I don't want to be there. Where is my home? Home is... Over there. Alright, so I'll meet you back there and then uh, we'll get a raft together and I think we'll call this episode here. Okay, I'm back. And apparently I guess that was the structure I saw with the spikes, but I guess they're not rendering in because of uh, draw distance kind of deal. Anyway, let's go ahead and finish this up with some uh, good old transportation, shall we? I need more wood and I need more... I need to make two rope. Let's get that rope out of the way. Maybe inventory crafting. One, two. You don't have inventory space. Four. Nothing new. Uh, thank God we're inside. We're at home. Uh, I do have a lot of electrical components too, or uh, yeah, the components. So that's gonna come in handy. As you see, it's generic items like bolts, wires, nails, and the like. Uh, put the duct tape in there. Flare and uh, bait for now. All right. And where did that rope go? Rope, rope, now I need eight more pieces of wood. Can I pull them out of the fire? Probably not. Alright, well, let me, uh... Actually, what we can do... Have something to eat and drink first. We can go in here and we can start breaking up the furniture. Because I remember there was... In here? There we go. Break the old dresser, that could just be 23. Alright, now we just gotta find one more. And there should be one over in this one here. Okay, not in here, but maybe the next one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ooh, I got some jeans. I like that you're- oh yeah, stamina. I like that you're finding like random clothes lying around. Perfect. I'm glad I went with a bald head too. Alright, oh. Well, that should be enough. Let's go take care of this and... <laughs> hopefully survive. At least the second day. First episode, second day. Okay, now let's check this thing out. I'm looking for this thing. Oh, it's a little little boat. Oh, nice. All right, let's check it out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ah. Cool. But I'm terrible at sailing. Well, I think this might be a good place to call it. Oh wow, I'm doing 70k. Lift up that sail. Well, I think we will call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm actually really enjoying this game. I'm hoping you are too. I can't wait to see how far it goes and the kind of things we'll discover and encounter along the way. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't, don't forget to leave me a like. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Later.